everyone, so today's video is on um, all my hamster toys. So these are Syrian hamster toys for Honey, because Honey is my Syrian hamster and my only hamster. So the first thing we're going to start off is the seesaw tunnel. So it's a tunnel which, there we are, Honey, um, it's a tunnel that has these kind of things here, you can see there, and on the thing, and you have to apply this, and I just hold this down here, and, and then we just put it on there, and it clicks, and when the hamster goes through it, it goes up and down. So there we are, my Syrian Honey's toy, whatever you want to call it. And that's the first product. So the second product is the, it was called, um, this bedding thing. It's paper pet bedding. So this is the warm and cozy hamster bedding. For guinea pigs, hamster gerbils and mice and there we are um it's got a cute hamster on the front yeah just help there and then the back please and then it's welco functional there we are yes back as well so that's what it looks like this things and there we are so that's Number two. So number three is the hamster potty litter. So this is just what it's called. It's a hamster potty litter and it makes training for your hamster or gerbil simple and highly effective. So it's three ninety nine, so it's four pound, and it's clean and tidy. And these are the things that come with it. So I use a scoop for my food, not for my actual litter here. It includes a litter, the tray thing, and scoop, and it's hundred percent natural, which is good. And it's called potty litter, and it's suitable for gerbils and hamsters. And this is the back, and there we are cute hamster and then we've just got information so yeah that's number three so the fourth product is the ceramic cute candle holder thing and you meant to put a candle in it but I thought it was too cute to resist so I bought it so it's just got loads of ventilation which is great and it's cute for my Christmas themed. So it's got a big door for the Syrians to fit in and the dwarfs. So this is suitable for any kind of dwarf or hamster, whatever you want to call it. It's got a holly on top and this dribbly custard. <laughs> so that's number four. And then we've got... <coughs> um, this ball and I just used it for her litter so it's a bit dirty there we are and <laughs> yeah I need to clean this out and this was from a charity shop um, and it had this cute cherries and stuff and it's just got this and it was 95p and I used it as a ball first but then yeah I don't know if you can see that because it's Kind of too light, but that's product number five. So, product number six is this. 
it's kind of dusty. Um, this charity thing, and it was broken, but I didn't mind. And this super glue did back on, and Honey's listening right now. Um, yes, he's listening. And we've got this, and it just has these designs on. So that's what it looks like, and it's perfect for any kind of hamster, so that's product number six. So the next product is the hamster shavings, and on the front here is really cute because it has a guinea pig, gerbil, hamster, degu, and rabbit here is squished um, and the guinea pig is kind of saying what are you making and the rabbit's kind of thinking a mess so it's from pets at home and i just want to show you this in case you're saying in the comments oh this is not suitable for this and that there we are i'll show you so it's take the one the animals it's good for. So this was a, came with a cage, Honey's cage, and yeah. So the next products are in Honey's cage. So we've got this Midi Classic water bottle suitable for hamsters, gerbils, mice, degus, and chinchillas. And that did not come with a cage. And I'll just show you what it looks like. So. It says non -tox twin bowl, non-toxic leak, non-leak, no resistant spout and anti-rust um, stainless steel and it's midi drinking bottle and it's crystal deluxe colour color tone and it's a classic and it's 320 millilitres. So, oh my god, I'm out of breath. Suitable for rabbits, guinea pigs, parrots pigeons and other small pets so I better put that back on because it's leaking everywhere and I think Honey wanted a drink so there we are and then the next product product did come with the cage and it was this hook that she absolutely adores and every single my hamster loved it so it is a quite a tight space in here but this is what it looks like and the top does open like this. So this is Honey's stash of food and this week I will not be feeding her because she's got a huge stash. So I do not want to overfeed her. And then we've got this willow tree for the Christmas theme that I was planning to do. So here it is. If you can see that, and then oh, <laughs> and then we've got a strawberry hut with the bedding in. And this is super cute, and I use this for my Syrian hamster, and it's got a lot of details on. So yes, Honey is digging away, and yes, let me just put that. Honey doesn't seem want to seem to move. That's fine. And then we've got this Santa Claus wooden chew that came with the little Christmas chew in a whole pack. And there was this one, a gingerbread one that my friends got because she bought snowball. Can you see that? Um, I'm trying not to cover it. So it has a lot of details on it, and it's pretty cute. And then we've got stick. We've got a stick, and we've got a dog alligator chew. So Hammy absolutely adores this, and she's broken his face off, um, and his spikes, and a bit of underneath, and his legs. And then she's got her flying saucer, which she's messed on my bed too. There we are. We've got her food which has vegetables such as cucumber, 
bit of bread and lettuce. She's got a hamster harvest mix food and her Syrian hamster mix. So yeah, thank you for watching. Comment, rate and subscribe. Bye!